two of you guys to jump on. We're live, probably a little bit quicker than usual. Ready, got a selfie stick this time. Jordan Cronin who's behind us here. <coughs> Spot him. Managed to find it today. So I'm not just focusing on my face like this. So I've actually got a little bit of room. Just wait for a few people to join before I comment on what, I, what we've just seen it. St James's Park. First comment there, Gary Lee. Not gonna lie, it's a hard one to take, feels like a loss. Can't argue with it, eh, Gary, I think. Yeah, as people are starting to join, I'll maybe start talking. I kind of agree with you there, Gary Lee. Good for good comment. Everyone who jumps on, give it a like. Give it a share. Get as many people as possible watching this one. Yeah, Gary, I think I can't argue with that one. That point there, I think Newcastle United have thrown away two points here. It was it was a it was a reasonably dominant first half performance. I think second half for me, I think the thing that sums it up largely was that I think they just really ran out of steam. That was my feeling. Jump in the comments if you agree or disagree with that one and let us know. Jordan, do you want to give a couple of quick seconds reaction? Well, me as well, while he's here. He's still here. Come on in, come on in. I won't see Eddie how often. Yeah. Just before you pop and see Eddie, just, just let there's, there's a few people just joining in now. Give it a like if you like what Jordan says. <laughs> people do. Thoughts? People do. Um, yeah, it, it, it's two points dropped, in, let's be honest. I think uh, and you kind of lost a lot of control in that second half or first half of the, of the better team. Um, but I think I tell you touch point there, the midfield seemed to lose a lot of control, allowed Everton back in the game. Uh, Eddie Howe brought on Joe Willis to try and get some control. Didn't work. Um, and uh, yeah, I think Everton probably deserved deserved the point in the end, if I'm if I'm brutally honest. Um, from Newcastle's point of view, it's so frustrating because it's again on the video we've done on Saturday, I spoke about consistency and Newcastle needing to start putting results together to get that European players and they've had a real opportunity here, two back-to-back -back home games to go and get six points, get your first back-to-back -back Premier League wins for the first time since December and they have managed to do that. Look, it's a, it's a moment of madness from, from Paul Dummett. I think there's, there's no getting away from that. I think for as for as poor as Newcastle were in that second half, hopefully Paul Dummett has cost them. That game isn't that sort of lack of concentration because it's, you know, it's coming in cold, hasn't played a lot of games this season, a lot of minutes. Um, but yeah, overall, just a, a really disappointing. I think it's a, it's a big opportunity missed once again. Just look at that comment there, Kenny W. Just heard Dummett's next gigs with, was, was with Hulk Hogan. <laughs> it was a bit of a wrestling move, to be fair. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was silly. Um, I just wrote that many play ratings. It, it was silly. There was no need for him to get in that tussle with with Ashley Young um, and once once the referee went the V on one that it was it was a penalty look we can't we can't argue that um, so yeah Paul Dummett is the, the introduction of Paul Dummett's proved very costly but overall I think Newcastle United's performance in that second half just simply simply wasn't good enough and it, again it's so frustrating that, that consistency the, the getting them back to back wins just isn't happening for Newcastle and if they don't start putting a run together they'll not go and finish in, in the top seven Three star men, three underperformers. Go on, give us some thoughts. Three star men. Because the, the full match ratings of, of each individual player yeah. will be on Newcastle World's uh, website. Check that out. Jordan's probably just published that, have you? Yes, yeah, so it's up now, yeah. So go and check it out on Newcastle yeah, so World. Go on, give, us your, well. give us your three best and give us your, give us your maybe one underperformer of the day. Right, so the best by a sizable distance, Dan Boone, I thought was outstanding. Captain for the night. Led by example, won all his headers, um, thrown his thrown his body in front of those Everton shots, crosses. I think it was a real captain's performance by him. So he is the standout man for me. Below that, Isaac, you would say for his class finish, world class for the striker striker play of that. Not only the, the finish as well, but the way he's came inside and glided past the Everton defender and put in the bottom corner. Thierry Henry esque, as we've said so many times about Isaac. So. Uh, I'll give him the second marks, although I do think he probably could add a hat trick in the end, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, he, he missed a couple of chances, but for that moment alone, I'll give him me two stars and then me one star. 
trying to think, trying to go for the team now. I'm struggling at Harvey Barnes is all right in moments. I think when he was good, he was good in terms of. Uh, Faded again, like like quite. He, he wasn't did, the only but, one, was but he? he? But he set up. Obviously, he set up. Uh, he's oh, Fabian Chair. Fabian Chair was actually all right. Oh, yeah. I, I thought he was all right today. Uh, some decent. Uh, somebody's raking passes, but I thought he was all right. Yeah. Well, I'll go with you on Chair because I think below them two players, below Dan Burnham, it's a struggle. It is a struggle. <laughs> Anybody who maybe didn't quite live up to expectations today? Joe Willock, when he came on, um, didn't didn't help Newcastle get control of that midfield at all. Um, it was the only sub they had, but really, you know, in terms of experienced players to bring into a game like that. But to me, it felt like he's almost the wrong profile of player to be bringing into a game, isn't it? It's, yeah. You almost need somebody who's going to grab the game by the scruff of the neck, and Joe Willock is almost like an extra forward runner. Yeah. Um, yeah. In a game like this, you'd probably look to bring him on wide, but look, they had to make that change. Anderson had run out of steam, starting his first game in a long time. Um, Lewis Hall ran out of steam. I'll we'll have to hope that isn't too much of an injury. Yeah, he was holding his, um, his, his, his ribs on it. Yeah. And um, that was in the first half. Obviously, continue. I think he got. 70 minutes under his belt, so yeah. hopefully he benefits from that. Hopefully he's not an injury there. Um, but yeah, on the subject of fullbacks, I'll, I'll probably give Emil Croft as a, as a man that I thought was disappointing today. Um, hard for him because it was his first Premier League start for almost two years. Um, but I just thought defensively he switched off quite a few times. Position wasn't quite there, and going forward really lacked quality. And um, there was a couple of times in that uh, in, across the game, he did put a couple of a, a couple of good crosses in, but. For large parts of the disappointment of his final ball in the box, so um, yeah, it was a I thought it was a disappointment even overall. I don't want to pick out players necessarily, but it was it was there was a lot of underwhelming performances out there, particularly in that second. Right, I'll let you go and speak. Thank you very much. Appreciate your, your comments there. Uh, jump on, give it a like. I'm only seeing I'm seeing 86 years watching. I'm only seeing nine likes. So give it a few likes if you don't mind. It shares helps with the algorithm. Shares it out so more people see it a few likes if you can afford that click on the thumbs up thanks a lot for jordan cronin another part of part of the geordie journals who will be going down to speak to eddie howe now with dominic skur who's already down there I might jump in your comments a little bit 90 you guys watching thanks for those likes i see the likes going up do gonna give it a like and jump in the comments because i do i will start uh talking through the comments in particular but I'll, I'll give my thoughts again before i do that not going to be too long alive tonight so you won't have to stay on too long unless you guys want that to happen and, and there's plenty getting involved in the conversation i'm happy to have one yeah my thoughts i think large and you ran out of steam in that second half as i mentioned when, when jordan was on i think joe willett was almost the wrong profile of player to bring on that's not a fault of anybody it's certainly not a criticism it was the only senior change that was really available to him but they almost needed somebody to come in there and grab the game by the scruff of the neck and grab a little bit more control in that middle. Because I thought in the first half, Newcastle had really controlled the game, created chances. Pickford made some really good saves on both in both halves. Um, Newcastle, of course, hit the, the woodwork, had a goal ruled out. So maybe you could say they did enough to win the game, but I just felt the second half largely was quite underwhelming. Um, I think they almost always gave, even in that first half, they always gave Everton just enough to believe that they were in this game and of course all it takes is is one set piece and it was always going to be set pieces that that almost caused issues for newcastle because that's kind of sean dice as he wanders along here get the camera angles right it was a it was a very one-dimensional performance from everton they're a bit of blunt force trauma is the way that they'll get anything against you. They'll be they'll be winning headers and winning set pieces and getting balls in the box. And that was ultimately what, what cost Newcastle United. Paul Dummett was probably the, the man who cost it. I'm really quite reluctant to go in, you know, it, it, look, evaluating it, he did, he cost them. Uh, it was a really poor foul, I thought. Under not so much pressure, he just didn't need to make the foul. But we're talking about a lad here who has barely kicked the ball for years. And to be relying on him to come in to a Premier League game, the heat of Premier League battle halfway through the game is a big ask. And, and it's these type of players that just really show the squad for what it is. It's no fault of, of his own. Um, but it's difficult for somebody like that to come in cold and, and put in a performance. Just for the likes, guys, keep them coming. 112 people watching. I'll keep chatting while you guys are getting in the comments. 
shame because for me you almost you're willing them to to get a bit of consistency uh you're willing them to put something together a little run willing them to turn three into six in those two home games and they just haven't quite got it it always just seems when you feel like they're going to put a little run together that things just don't quite work for them I see i've got my gloves on here anybody else who was here I'd freeze freezing here at st james's park it's like a fridge in here right i'm going to jump in the comments and see what you guys are saying apologies again if you see my fat fingers jumping all over the screen gary lee Cheers, Gary, for your comment. That was a great first one. I think uh, I think it was fair. Darren Mills wasted chances. Captain Kifar, gutted. You'll not be the only one, Captain. Aye, aye. Gary Doherty played pretty well tonight. Thrown away with a minute of madness by Dummett. Agreed. Gary Kilverton, I, I, I wouldn't say played pretty well. Like I, I think first half, I would say Newcastle really deserved to be in front. I think second half, they really lost their way. And I think... Everton had the sort of 20 minute spell towards the end and were really pushing. Um, if, I, if, if I flip it wrong, that's what I would say about this. If, and that's Newcastle United in a relegation battle like what they have been uh, in recent years. I would probably argue with that performance that Everton deserved something out of this game. But of course, chances I would imagine show it another way around. Gary Kilvinton should have finished it in the first half. Agreed. Second half were dreadful, and what was done with doing absolute madness. Jack Burton, typical Newcastle FI. Jack, uh, can't disagree with you there, mate. Oliver B, we are United. FFS, can't say that, it's a family show. Gary Lee again. Yeah, agree. Fresh legs for Everton. Now, like a bench made a big difference. It has, and how many times have we said that this season? It's just, it's been a, the tail of the season, really, with regard to the squad. Jack Burton again. Yes, it took a lot of energy to come back against West Ham. Probably did, you know. Uh, Pete Davidson, thanks for your comment, mate. Uh, careful what you say about Longy, but we'll make sure he isn't. We'll, we'll, I don't know if you want another cameo. He might be coming up here soon. You never know. Shame, actually. So let's, so should we talk about that? Because I see the next comment from Captain Keith Hodson, Longstaff, was SHI. You know the rest. I didn't think he was today, but he was all right. I didn't think he was great, but I didn't think he was really bad. And I think it's a real shame what you saw. Check the, check the shorts that we did, if anybody's seen the last live here on Saturday. I think it's a real shame to see almost what a, a negative mindset that, that Sean Longstaff's in now. You can tell it, the, 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 uh, any criticism that he's hearing or seeing, whether that be from social media, I don't know. Whether that be from the crowd in games, whether that be from what people tell him, I don't know. What he reads in the papers, what he reads wherever, I don't know where he's getting that from. But it just seemed like a lad in a real negative mindset. And, almost back against the wall feeling like everyone's criticising I, I think what you'll find from particularly us it's never personal if it's ever criticism of any player because I don't think it warrants that it's more if they're not playing well they're not playing well and uh, he hasn't hit his heights of what he played like at the back end of last season and the start of this season recently so the only way you can change that is by knuckling it down and improving your own performance and let's hope you can do that Back in the comments, guys. Keep them coming. Get them likes going. Share this round as much as possible. All right. Oliver B. Again, thanks, mate. Evan had nothing. If I made some great saves, he did, and they were very one-dimensional. But like I said, blunt force trauma as the as the grass cutting starts behind us. In case you can hear that. Uh, Nicole, Nicole Watson. A season without momentum. I cannot disagree with that. Every time they look like they're getting going, bang stop dead you need to kick it back on again at the weekend but you wonder what the, the team's going to look like we'll have to find out obviously Dominic Skir the Shield Gazette and your Jordan Germans and Jordan Cronin who was just alongside us there will be down speaking to Eddie Howe I'm sure we'll get some kind of update on Lewis Hall who seem to be complaining of something with his chest something maybe on his side under his ribs we'll find out Kenny W just heard Dummett's next gig as well Hulk Hogan we read that one out before you all have a sense of humour in days like this, don't you? Gallagher Brown, squad death calls, that agreed. Graham Doherty, well, not with a disallowed goal, very close, it was very close, but I think he was just off. I think it's hard to argue that he wasn't. Uh, Oliver B again, thanks for your comment, mate. Wife foul in the box, the ball was nowhere near, agreed. Shields, he won. Barnes looks for one pace, he's like isolated. Was that second half, it was a bit of a back to the wall at times, I thought. Um, which is why I thought, you know, if, if you were an Everton fan or, or you're in their situation, I really would have felt. 
I probably would have felt, you know, they deserve something out of that game because they, they gave him a bit in that second half. They really, they helped us, they hung in the game and just did nothing that second half to put Newcastle on the back foot. So away from home, I think that was really, let's be brutally honest, it was a decent performance from an away team fighting relegation and in desperate need of points as they are. Uh, David Bartel, actually a comment may wise, long staff never sub, not saying he had a bad game, but Anderson gives so much more. I thought Anderson was alright today, he gave energy, physicality, won his challenges, got stuck in, got the crowd going a bit. Ran out of steam. Ran out of steam. And, and was was knackered when he went off, so I can't disagree with that substitution. Uh, Nina Silvo, Silvio, John Pickford walks again with the last laugh, he certainly does. How bitter that makes me feel. <laughs> yeah, it, you know what? He gives it, he can take it. I'm sure Newcastle will have a day again over Jordan Pickford. Uh, and he had Young in a headlock. That must be how dumb it, of course he did. Kenny W, no way we can sell Isak. I, I'm not even getting involved in that conversation. There is no way you can sell Alexander Isak, unless he wanted to go, of course. P. Davidson, a great whole heart. He'd be Dan Byrne, yeah, he was decent today. Steve Dawson, disappointed with our fine margins, but it looked like so many of our other games with a weak bench. Agreed. Nina Silvio again. Feel sorry for Bruno and Isak, they do not deserve to struggle in this team. I mean, there is a point of that, it is, it is that, that levels of uh, flash quality in this team. It needs bolstered, it needs bolstered, and I think I don't think that's lost on anybody. I think I think the management understands that, and I think everybody feels that the club does as well. And they don't mixed up with <laughs> don't mixed up with uh, American football. Sub bench was always up in championship level, even compared to Everton. Fourth bottom says it already. FFS, I can't say that again, like I said. No. Um, good point made by one of the fellow journalists sitting with before the game, and, and of course, a fellow uh, fellow YouTuber, uh, Craig Hope. He said, in a Premier League these days, it takes 14 players to win a Premier League game. And I'd never thought about it like that, but you can tell it does. It takes, it takes energy and it takes legs off a bench. Just to change things, just to move things around. We cast it so many times this season, whether that be in Europe, whether that be at home, whether that be away. They haven't had that and they haven't got that at the moment and it's really telling. Uh, Darren Mills, genuinely we did enough. It was just the final touch shot. We did well enough to win it. Jack Burton's, it means, it me, Jack Burton, sorry. It means we must beat Spurs and Man United or take four points and be fun, of course. I don't think it means anything. You never know which way this is going to go. I mean, there's a lot of teams flattering to deceive in this race to Europe. As West Ham did here only a few days ago. You're never gonna you can never really predict what they're gonna need and what they're not, but they do need to win a few games. Uh Graham Totley looked like cramp for Lewis Hall. Do you think so? I'm glad to hear that, but we'll soon find out. Nina Silvio, most of the French players did not get any regular minutes throughout the season and this is the result. Dice was just bringing on subs and our manager just watches on. He didn't really have a lot to bring on in, 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 in defence, to be fair. But you know what? I'll be the first to criticise if I think that there's been problems or subs as I did at the weekend. I thought it's got subs wrong had to get them right with it with the injuries um on injuries doesn't look great like keep the lights coming by the way uh sounds like uh trippier could be a few weeks yet potentially up to 21 days ish and it sounds like livramento could be anywhere from two to four weeks depending on what you hear and who you listen to so it looks like to me that's probably going to be the back Back four, depending on Lewis Hall. Back four, going for a fair bit of the, the next few games. Uh, where am I? Andy, chance after chance after chance, zero goals. Andy, game finished over 20 minutes ago. NFC Twitter yet announced full time. Most likely to save Dummett from the deserved on Oh, it's interesting. Kenny W was actually a comment made. Fulham coming off a bad run of games will be a hard game. I agree. It's all, you know what? They've had some good results down there. The last two have been fantastic. Tradition was never really an easy place to go, so. I think they'll be tough for the weekend, especially with depleted depleted squad. Gallagher Brown, had Gordon being available, we win that. Thought we'd draw Fulham. So if we can win Saturday, we're still on track. Matthew Smith, hello Matty Mith, uh, good pal of mine. Thanks for the comment, mate. Hope you're enjoying the uh, the Middle East. Not all doom and gloom. If it would be Fulham, seven points from nine is a decent return. Missed that positive, I like it. Sir Monkey Suit, interesting name. We're destined for a clean sheet today. One man effed it. Everton don't score. How dumb it thinks that's fine is really ticked me off. Again, look, I'm gonna say like he's a lad who hasn't operated at Premier League level for quite some time. And I know we hear the song and everyone has a bit of fun and everyone look, for me, Kraft and Dummett are two players who 
I'll just say it. I, I think I, I think it's it's not they, they wouldn't get a game for any other Premier League teams. That's not unfair to say. And I think this is a, a thing that they've got to really be careful of is giving contracts to too many players who maybe aren't at the level. And if you can't rely on players to come in, and I say it's, it, 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 it was a big ask of Dummett, and that's hard, but it was a big ask. But to expect players to come in at Premier League level and perform after having really kicked, men, kicked the ball for years at the Premier League level. And the same goes for Kraft, by the way. Came on in the game at the weekend, but hadn't started a Premier League game for two years. To expect those players to come in and hit the ground running like that is, is, is difficult on them for a start. But there's reasons why they haven't played games. Kraft, of course, had an injury. But even when he was a regular at times under Steve Bruce, it wasn't the best of performers. So interesting, interesting all the same. Uh, where are we? Nina Silvio again. Loads of comments from you, thanks. Uh, I think we're just so sloppy and happy to take responsibility, waiting for one another to take the ball or constantly launch into, into a touch. Uh, Steve Crawford, why do we have two keepers on the bench? Always do, it's just bodies thing in it. And D, uh, always do, I say always do when numbers drop, of course. Uh, and D, Daish will be on the champagne. <laughs> yeah, he will, he was very happy at the end. Rob Bell, one step forward, one step back. That's a season done for me with injuries. I can't see it getting much better. Uh, you know what? I wouldn't jump to those conclusions. I wouldn't jump to those conclusions. You never know where the season's going to go. It could easy progress and they could get another couple of results. Go and get a result at Fulham at the weekend. And I think I think in reflection, it's not too bad. Uh, have I missed anybody? Travis Fickle, idiotic. We've done it two points thrown away. Needlessly very annoying. Paul Grimm, professional experience. Geordie making a mistake like that. Shocking. So monkey suit. I haven't played football for a decade. I wouldn't be dragging a player down by the neck to give a pen away. Dean Charlton. TNT's dig at Newcastle and you give Pickford man the match. And D, poor teams and poor players come to Wall Stadium and play like superstars. It's sickening. Jed Headley, sorry, but too pedestrian in the second half. And why bring Dummett on when Richie's there? Steve Crawford, Dummett has played last two, has played two games this season. Dean Charlton, let's hope we don't fall one or two points short of Europe. Well, it might be. You never know. It's going to be tight. Jack Burton, what the hell is wrong with Trippier? Didn't think the injury was too bad. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a few weeks yet. Ali B, Dummett lost his extension, now surely you never know. Dean Charlton, Burn was mint, I thought so too, I thought he was Newcastle's standout man. If I'm reading your comments out, like, comment, share, subscribe, keep them coming in, get this algorithm up, let's get as many people watching the Geordie Journals as possible. Stephen Kennedy, nice name mate. Should Eddie have twisted instead of sticking, there was so much quicker than the ball 60 meters in the air, Newcastle ran out with steam. Could he made more changes? Possibly, could he made more changes. Terry Hogg, young, knew what he was doing yeah he did Kenny W Steve too too many and D same old story should have won score three uh, Longstaff did good work in the first half Kenny W I agree uh, Gary, Guy Matthews Longstaff's playing no self confidence he's different to watch I agree as I mentioned earlier in the video if you want to watch that go back have a little look Ali B1 preferred Barnes as an impact sub and will it to start instead neither can do 90 minutes yet but Anderson, Byrne and Bruno were class. Yeah, you know what? There were some reasonably positive performances in there, but you know, in the main, it wasn't the best of days for Newcastle United in terms of result. Stephen Kennedy, if Longstaff's the answer, we're rubber ducked. <laughs> Ian Harper, I think we can put the league under pressure by sending the lads on holiday and bringing the under-21s. Tell the league you won't let us spend, yet we have others having a massive debt. We have 40 points. Josh Lumley was Longstaff on the pitch tonight, and they not going to bash Sean, but every time he gets the ball, he looks like he's not going to make a mistake. He tries to show, but in my opinion, doesn't have the skill set required for elite football. Captain Keyford, he's been proved us wrong sometimes. Longly, long he doesn't. He did, and he did last season. However, he did last season, and he did at the start of this season. Isn't that goal down there? He scored a goal of the ages against PSG. Don't rule him out just yet. He's been playing with an injury, and I think it's a bit unfair. He's a lad who needs what backing. Where, but it's fair to say if you don't think he's playing well, call it out. Ali B, Eddie saying it was both players just dumb its arms high. Kenny W, a point that feels like a loss. Dean Charlton, how we miss Gordon, agreed. John C, we seem to be swinging from one crisis to the next. What's the answer? So many injured players running out of, so many injured run out of uh, players, I agree. Andrew Garrett, Longstaff's championship best. Harsh, harsh in my opinion, I don't agree with that at all. Guy Matthews, we missed Gordon's pace, chasing loose balls in the box, we did. Bill, he leads from the front with his, with his press and things like that, I think it's a really positive. Uh, thing that this team does miss. Bill Realton, thanks for your comment mate. We just can't close a game out at times it looked like we're trying to be too careful and we bomb forward and leave huge gaps at the back. K 
Kenny W, two keepers on the bench, sums it up. Andrew Garrett, Eddie was with loads of injuries and caught loads of goals. A Bournemouth one swallow does not a summer make. He's had his summer reverted back to type. Interesting. Ali B1, keep your comments coming, everybody. Ali B1, other results went our way, at least, yeah, they did. Um, Steve Kennedy, Lane, would you take Anana? I thought the first half, although defensively, Anana seems to sit in that pocket when you cast it to another player, wins the ball. You know, I think he's not as good with the ball, but out of possession, he, he eats up the ground quite well and he puts his tackles in. Jury's out, I don't know. That's Hans, I'm sorry for sitting on the fence. There's part of his game that I really like, other bits not so much. Uh, Ian Lumley, I to totally disagree. Longstaff is a passenger, did nothing again. Appreciate when all our differences opinion, Ian. Keep the comments coming. Jordi Gaza. Is there another Gaza? Such an annoying game that feels like a loss so much. Graham Doherty, West Ham is first one more at the minute. Richard Wolf, Dumb and Prop are messed up. Kenny W, we're eighth now, one point behind West Ham with the game in hand. Yes, it's not all doom and gloom. Richard Wolf, nonsense, Dumb knows better. Derek Shaw, don't think we get Europe. Too many key players injured at the wrong time. Richard Wolf. Uh, big ask for you Everton. I think that must be a uh, tongue in cheek. Kenny W, I can understand not playing and catching a man with your foot, but to wrestle someone that's bad. Richard Wolf, utter nonsense. Are you talking about comments that I made? I mean, it wouldn't be the last time. I had somebody tap on my shoulder actually when I was sitting here, uh, just sitting down here, asking as if I was going to be negative after this game, because that's all I know. That's my style. Doesn't know my style. Shut your mouth. Right, bingo teeth. Dummett could probably get a game for the Castle Falcons took that guy down well. John C, time for Carrius. Dubs should have saved the penalty. He really got there, though. He nearly made a decent save, to be honest. Uh, Carrius plays differently, cover space behind defence. I've not been disappointed with what I've seen from Carrius when he's played, but there's reasons why Carrius isn't playing, and I largely think that's to do with the fact he really doesn't want to, doesn't really want to commit his future to being here, does he? And I think it's only it will be a funny one to give somebody like that uh, any sign of loyalty when, the, you know, going to be waiting the summer. Alan Thompson, why is Dunnercraft still at the club, Liam? Is that, they, if they're not good enough, it's a point I make. Like, I think you've got to have players who are ready to play, who are good enough to play a Premier League level. And I think there's got to be question marks about some of them in this squad. But they're not the only ones. That's not being too negative. It's just re a dose of realism. Uh, Derek Shaw, Ali B, money, money. I'm in skin, I'll do some money. Don't know what that comment means, but who knows. Derek Shaw, can't believe Dummett thought it was okay to wrestle there yet. I've seen that. Uh, John Ewell had no strength on the bench. Simple as that. Guy like a Brown, what players are out of contact at the end of the season? Quite a few of them. Uh, Shields he won, lacking creativity, need a Madison, possibly. And a six, I agree. Gary Matthews still don't think our goal was offside. I'll have to see it again, but it looked very, very tight. Dean Charlton, understand he ain't played in a while, but that was a foul, totally amateur. Agreed. I see Kennedy Byrne showed us he's a centre back, not a bloody left back. I agree. <laughs> like, there's no doubt about that. What I would say that that back five is a unit. Roll the clock back. 24 months, two years. The team that was fighting relegation, fighting to stay in the Premier League, and ended up finishing 11th that season was Dubravka, Kraft, or Mankio, Shea, Byrne, Target. Four of the five start the day. That just shows where they're at. Being told I defeated squad may get us out of you. Agreed. Pete Davidson. Uh, can't read that one. Derek Sharp. If the injuries continue, make sure you bring your boots. You might get a game and there'll be nobody getting me a game. I think I'd blow out after three and a half minutes running about out there. Uh, Marco 4863. Atmosphere is diabolical. And the atmosphere of the women's game is far better. I'm not going to go into that. West Ham Spurs 1 1. Kenny W. Thanks for that update. Uh, Tony Selby was I the only one <clears throat> myself any time the ball was back to Dubravka didn't seem to know what to do I thought he was a bag of nerves today really did 146 uh, of you guys watching currently now if you like the conversation you like the comments you like what we're doing you know what to do click the like and it shares it out for other people so more people can get involved in the Jordan Jones conversation I see Eddie Howe must be finished because Jordan Cronin can you see him? can you see him? there he is He's just creeped back in and he's doing a little bit of work. He's looking now. There he is. He's giving him a wave. There he is. <laughs> we'll get him involved in the conversation in a minute. Do hit that like button. I'll finish up your comments. How many more is that? Jesus. 
Not the Jesus who scored at the Stadium of Life, by the way. Uh, oh, these comments. Lads and lasses, you're really getting involved here today. Let's have a look. Where was it? William Moore, poor game management again. How many times have we turned up, not turned up second half bonds, but missing second half while it was poor? We all know Longstaff offers nothing, equalizers coming. Or oh, not argue. Waldo, thanks for your comment. Just, um, decent performance overall, considering the circumstances, I'm not sure. Ali B, all minds and upwards, agree. Kenny W, Dubravka. Source count, Alex Murphy on the bench, but done his bro, and I actually said this. I, like, I know it was a Difficult to see, I can see why he double come on. This isn't like a criticism, but I said that throw the young kid on. I definitely would have thrown the young kid on. 147 of you guys watching this live, get in the comments, get involved. Well, I'll stay on as long as you want us to. 31 minutes on you, Brandon. Absolutely battered Evan tonight. Should have been out of sight in the first half, but stuff happens. But, but stuff happens. Well, we might keep Bruno and Isak. Do you think, Liam? Yes, I do. Don't hold us that, but I think at the moment, yes, we do. Uh, Richard Wall, Dummett is a pro against an year 40 year old. Young, lost man, we, yeah, a few swear words in there, but can't disagree. Uh, long staff, start every game, usually the worst player. Bernard Bruno Kit played well. Kenny W, Debravka didn't concede over the play. Uh, Source time, Debravka will be dropped. I'm just trying to paraphrase some of the comments. There's 150 people on here now, so I'm glad you're getting involved in this conversation. Fantastic stuff. 76 likes, keep them coming. Ian Hart, ah, well, I'll see this and know they have to spend. Possibly, let's hope so. Source count, why no journalists demanding answers about the medical team? I think Eddie Howe did address that, talking about the, the idea of making sure that there's some kind of inquest, because I think we all accept that that's definitely needed. Uh, Daniel Agro robbed the living dummit. Uh, Dean Charlton wouldn't have a non, I prefer <laughs> an orange. But um, I like it. Source count, all flags have been dire this season. That's a bit of a funny one to aim at. I don't think War Flags has got anything to do with what goes on out there. Uh, what else do you make? Warful cancelled my direct debit. Probably want to take over them, I think. Marco Foy at 6 3. He says arm was offside. Derek Sharp. Jordan is playing Minecraft, not working. <laughs> I'm sure he's grafting hard, which I need to do at some point. There's so many of you guys watching and involved in this conversation. Then I'll keep it going. Need legs in midfield, Johnny C, agree. Jack Byrne, if you don't play with a 10, you need high cream. The 10 doesn't exist in the one game, so I don't don't agree with that. John Hall, Anderson Barnes, we're good tonight. First half, second half faded. Uh, Billy, questionable name. Miss Miguel Almiron tonight, I'm not reading that. Uh, Graham Tala, without the second goal, it was almost obvious that was going to happen. I think a lot of people felt like that. Uh, Stephen Kennedy, too many passes in around the box, not enough shots. Michael Smith, I thought was good performance. Uh, Brandon in desperate need of a couple of centre backs in the summer. Uh, Captain Keyfort, thanks, and you're always honest. I do, yeah, I just say as I say, and that's ultimately sometimes upsets people, but it's never bothered as before and it'll never bothers again. Graham Towler on paper, Boss Bears Man United, should be Europe guaranteed if we had a full squad, but we haven't. Graham Towler, squad is a worry. Uh, <laughs> Stop with the silly names. I'm not that daft, I'm certainly not going to read some of those ones out. I am reading fast, but I can read, uh, and I, I haven't yet been caught out with one of these silly names. I'm going to try not to be. Uh, Waldo, I'd be pleased with that tonight by the result. Marco 463, looking at bright side. We have Yang Kuba Minty next season. Uh, steadfast accountancy and business help. Why didn't Eddie sub one of the two keepers on instead of Um uh, Tank 7 Burn was awesome in the middle of defence. I thought it was really good. Uh, Haru. <laughs> Nearly got us. Harry. Gibbs White isn't good enough. I think he is. I, I, I quite like him here. Uh, Joe Lumley, how out? B. Davidson, I know everyone is tired of the injury excuse, but it's a valid reason. It really is, actually. Uh, Steve Kelly need a full team. And somehow, Brandon, let's hope all isn't too, injury isn't too serious. I'll run up here and I'll quickly grab Jordan Cronin for a quick two minutes just to finish off this video tonight. See what Eddie Howe said, because you guys are watching me. I'm not sure you'll have seen what Eddie Howe had to say. There he is. Oh. Someone says you're playing mine. Someone says you're playing Minecraft, not not actually. Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played that game for years. I did used to like it. You're trying to build a team on Minecraft. <laughs> right. A team on here. <laughs> Quick one. Yes. Try and sit down. In. Yeah, go on. Go on. Oops. Missed the seat. 
been good YouTube fun. <laughs> oh, right, come on then. What do you say? Uh, I've got the quote here, the first two questions. He said, definitely frustrated. I felt we needed that second goal. It looked like we got on a couple of occasions. Of course, the very arm was really, really tight. And then Alex's chance looked like a big moment in the game. At 1 11, never out of it. Hit the post themselves, and of course, the penalty is probably the big moment. I think you look back at it, which I have very quickly. I think both players have got to the other initially. But I think the height of Paul's arm and around Ashley's neck swings it against us. If the boot is on the other foot, I'm probably one that for a penalty. So, no argument to the penalty. And then the question on Paul Dummett, uh, he's called a first class, really genuine on a slide. One of the moments that's gone against us, and I can't fault the players. Generally, I thought it was a uh, really committed performance for the majority of the game. So Paul, that was, that was anything just, on Lewis Hall? He's fine. Uh, he said it was just fatigue. Okay. Uh, injuries off the top of my head, uh, obviously, the cells will know about that. Uh, Trippier, and um, Trippier's out now three weeks, and it looks like. Livermento and I'm not out for that month so a month isn't a lot but in terms of the season and where it is was it eight games left pretty much going to be back at best for the next for the last few games so uh, 12 players absent today I don't think there's going to be many returning anytime soon which um, we've seen in that second half for any castle Barry how lucky his bench need to make changes he had Joe Willock and no one else and it's gonna have to, that's the it's gonna have to continue for the next few weeks if Newcastle are gonna get seventh they're probably gonna have to limp to it in many ways uh the injury situation which we spoke about many many times isn't ideal um, but hopefully Newcastle can find or well, Eddie can find better ways to manage games in the final in, in the second half because it feels like this season Newcastle have conceded so many late goals I'm actually gonna look at the table if you can you know goals after 75 minutes because it feels like it's a regular thing Newcastle conceding late goals yeah and um, maybe not in recent Newcastle themselves have been uh, scoring late goals themselves but particularly at the, the, the end the end start of this year it feels like Newcastle are given are given wins away so I'm, I'm going to look into that but yeah that was the gist of what Eddie Howe said I think he said frustrated I think deep down he'll be disappointed because no to miss opportunity but as I know with Eddie Howe he doesn't tend to say it too much and uh, tends to say very little so I'm sure his true feelings he would have scored the players at full time but in terms of uh, us press yeah he said he was he said he was really pleased with the performance for the majority of the game. 155 of you guys watching out there that's why I kept going you see that oh, right, yeah, I, I, I came out and I seen this little go yeah it's just more and more people getting involved there's only 82 likes out there so get like and get share in this conversation um, you won't get this anywhere else on YouTube this man's just been with Eddie Howe and he's told you exactly what Eddie Howe says, so straight from the horse's mouth. Right, I'm going to cut this because I've got to do some work myself and, <laughs> and I do want to go to bed at some point. I'm meant to be helping Jordan out with the coverage and all I've done is talk to you guys out there. So like, comment, share, subscribe for all your George Jones content. We will be back when? Uh, well, it, probably tomorrow. Yeah, well, it'll probably be up tonight, but I imagine people yeah. won't watch until tomorrow. But if you are past 12, 1 o'clock, Click on our video, give it a watch. Dominic Scoo will be joining him as well, so we'll get his phone to If not, and you want to go to bed, you're tired of watching that performance, and uh, yeah, tune in tomorrow, watch it over there, what all three of us have got to say together. But do click the bell, because as soon as you wake up, as soon as you click that alarm off in the morning, you'll see the notification for the Geordie Journal's fresh video, and you'll be able to watch it before you get out of bed. Right. Like, comment, share, subscribe for all enjoyed viewers. Comment. Thank you so much for everybody who's got involved in this conversation. One of the best lives we've ever done, one of the longest lives I've ever done. It's just a shame you casting it, you couldn't tip it off with three points. Cheers guys and thanks for all of your contributions. This is my fingers go all over the screen as they usually do.